excited to announce today that we're releasing the release candidate of the new ASP.NET 5, uh, as well as the new .NET Core uh, runtime. They're now available for you to go ahead and take advantage of and use. They also include a go-live license, uh, and that enables you to also now start to go into production and start to deploy real apps to real customers using all those technologies. You know, we've really built up VS Code to have tremendous new capabilities, and we're really excited that today's release is officially now the Visual Studio Code beta, and is available for everyone to download on any platform and be able to use for any technology. We're gonna take that open approach one step further by officially releasing the source code of Visual Studio as open source as well. We're actually renaming Visual Studio Online to now be called Visual Studio Team Services and releasing a whole bunch of great new enhancements to it that make the, the core services even better. I'm really excited to announce today that the release management support is available for the first time in public preview. Uh, we're also making available for the first time in public preview our dev test lab support. Starting today, we've integrated Hockey App now into Visual Studio Team Services. Uh, Hockey App will also continue to be available separately, just like it was previously. You know, we've got some other great Azure announcements that we're gonna be talking about. Who in particular I'd really like to highlight is the public preview of our new Azure Service Fabric service. The other great announcement we have today is that the Microsoft Graph API is now available in general availability form. Today we're announcing our new Visual Studio Cloud subscriptions. You can basically now subscribe to Visual Studio on either an annual or now also a monthly basis, uh, in addition to obviously continuing to purchase it the way you do today on a perpetual license. Also really excited to announce today our Visual Studio Dev Essentials subscription. Uh, and this basically is a centralized program for everything you need from Microsoft to create applications uh, that run on any device or OS. Visual Studio Team Services extensions. This goes above and beyond what you can do with sort of plumbing and API capabilities and enables you to integrate your user experience. 